Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, the lads are all fired up. Let me. Just, yeah, just so. Yeah, just looking out the window now. Yeah. Oh, mate, they're loving it. They're all fired up. They're ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. The, the Carabao Cup. Yeah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. I think you should just enjoy your holiday. Uh, so tell me, do you get to read many newspapers that show results of the Carabao Cup at the moment or the lower leagues? Have you seen anything? No, no, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it's probably just as well. You don't want to keep reading stuff about what's going on over here when you're on, on holiday, do you, really? Um yeah, well, uh, I, I would suggest that maybe you just stay away from the papers and just enjoy your holiday, and I'll take care of the football over this side of the pond. Yeah, it's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, you, I, I, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Don't you worry about a thing, Mr Chairman. Absolutely. No, 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 you don't need to worry about a thing. So, as I say, we've had a good pre-season. We've done well. Uh, as you know, we've got a few cup games coming up. Uh, priority, as you say, is the Carabao Cup. More than happy to go with that. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. You really want us to get through the Carabao Cup. Yeah, okay. Right. Perfect. Right, Mr Chairman, I, I need to go. The, the lads are shouting at me. They're, uh, they're getting a bit cold because we're not warming them up very well. And you know what we need, Mr Chairman? We need some winners out there. So I best get back to work and... Uh, you, you spend as much time as you need in the hot sunshine and enjoying it. And don't bother reading any papers about the football. You, you don't need to. Yeah, OK, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And you. Right. All the best. Got to go. Bye. Christ almighty. We've won one friendly all pre-season. And we've already been knocked out of the Carabao Cup. We're in trouble already. Roll the titles. So guys, welcome episode two of this say uh, promotion emotion with me, Mr. Cuddly. So, uh, Chairman's not very happy. Well, he won't be. Uh, as you can see, we've I said we won one friendly. I'm not going to include the um, friendly against the second side because I chose it so that we would win. Um, this is poor Carabao Cup. As you can see, guys. We're already out, we went out on penalties, uh, I didn't have the art to tell the chairman, so we're just going to plough on and just hopefully he'll take the Papa John's Trophy Southern Section group that we're top of it as a, a consolation maybe for being knocked out of the Carabao. He wanted Carabao for money, um, I'm not in it for the money viewers, I'm in it for the, uh, for the glory. So what better opportunity than to play our first game of the season at home to Wigan Athletic who probably are. Uh, probably one of the um, favourites to to go up. I'm guessing. Uh, shall we have a quick look at the uh, season preview? No, they're not. Okay, we'll take that one away. Where are Wigan? Uh, well, they tipped for well, they've tipped end thirteenth. We're fifth at five to one. So um, can't see that, happening, viewers. Uh, we are going to struggle. Uh, I don't know why. I've tried several different ways of playing. I've got some key players, well, one key player that hasn't kicked a ball all pre-season for me in Parrot. Uh, reason being, um, we got him on loan when he was injured, viewers. So, nothing to do with me. This was the people before myself, or the chairman even. So, we are literally at, as you can see, team selection. We are here at game day. So, um, we're going to play a few games this episode, guys. And hopefully, we can bring a few victories so as you can see, Parrot won't be making any, um, won't be participating in any of this for the next few weeks. Uh, he's literally just come back from injury. I've put him down in under twenty threes to play and get fit. So hopefully, you know, maybe two, three, four weeks he'll be back in the squad. 
um, fighting for a place. Freddie says I'm giving a go. He's not had much joy in starting games in pre-season. Uh, however, he has come, come off the bench, uh, done all right. Maybe uh, you know he, he puts a bit of a he puts graft in. He puts a bit of good graft in up the top end of the pitch, and I kind of like that. I know he's missed some good opportunities. Um, I do like the graft, and he has because of his graft created opportunities for himself and others. Uh, Josh Harrop, who's playing on the left inside forward, um, not really been very impressive of him so far. So, you know, he's a three and a half star left sided player or a central, more central than left. Um, really, he has started a few games. Um, as you can see, Carabao Cup, he got an assist. Um, like I can say, he started a few games in that position there in the 10 role and done all right, but I don't know, there's just something. The balance isn't right with the team when he's not on the left. I might actually move him into the centre and just see if we can maybe see he plays a he plays a good inverted winger. Um, I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him as an inside forward. Um, I don't want to keep him as an inverted winger. I'm going to play him as an in inside forward. Thomas who plays over on the right. I'm not sold on him, but he's a free star. He's 21 years of age, so there's a lot of progression he could make. So potentially this could be it. He's got some good pace. Um, Whereas he's, he's got nine composure, he's got a finishing and nine, 13 dribbling. So I kind of feel inside forward may suit him. Um, left, left footy player playing on the right, cutting inside long shots um, of nine. So maybe that needs to be improved a little. Uh, apart from that, there is Alan Judge who could be making a statement to play the right hand side. Um, but again, we're struggling with only two and a half stars, but he seems more mentally and physically uh, a better player. So, you know, we'll give... I think the mentals will come come into play a lot. But again, he's 31 years of age. He's got 10 years on um, Thomas. So, you know, Thomas has got a lot to learn. Um, Gwyn Edwards, who is also could play there on the winger or the inverted or the inside. Again, not played much pre-season. So chances of me giving them a chance is quite slim at the minute. Uh, McGuinness, he's probably going to go on the bench. He's a centre-half. Um, I was using... I think I'm going to change James Wilson when it lets me. Uh, I think I've already changed. Have I gone too far with me? No, I haven't. Why has it not let me move players around then? Am I doing something wrong here? Right, so. Hmm, don't know what's going on there. Let me, let me submit my team. We'll go. We'll stick with this. I'll find out why that didn't work before. So uh, we are playing. What we've asked. I'll, sh I'll show you what we've asked. I'll quickly pause the game. So what we're asking our in transition. What we're asking to do is to deploy the ball out to the number fifteen role. Which if we go on to the tactics here, is Bishop. He's a deep line playmaker. He can dictate, I'm sure he's got dictate tempo, and ne nevertheless, but he can dictate the game. So the idea is to get the ball to him, um, dictate the play, and start the, the, the building, really. So we are playing a custom counter-attack, more direct. May change it to um, a, flu a fluid. We're going to see how we get on. We're playing attacking, we're at home. So without further ado, viewers, let's, let's get into this. As I say, we have struggled. We've struggled scoring goals. Uh, we've certainly struggled conceding. We can't keep clean sheets. We just don't know what it is. I've got the right players playing in the right positions. It's rather we don't seem quick enough, alert enough, or we're just not good enough. Um, find it difficult. How we're fifth favourites to, to go up, I don't know. It, it just suggest a playoff place. Um, personally, at the start of the season, I think we're going to struggle. However, Rome wasn't built in a day, guys. There's still opportunities and chances. We just need to take them when we get them. That's pretty much what we need to do. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. 
See, he shouldn't need to come off 30 minutes into a game unless he's injured. We'll take him off. I'm not going to risk it. Just haven't gotten... Players just don't seem to be fit at all. It's poor. This is how it's been all pre-season. It is so, so poor. No matter what I do, uh, I might go back and change and play a 4-4-2 soon. Uh, because this formation I'm playing, it should suit them, but it's not. And it's rather annoying. So I might go and play a 4-4-2 big man, little man. I do I do have like a target man or a deep lying forward that I could use. Um, that we haven't purchased, haven't loaned in. He was already at the squad, I just never saw him. Of a three star quality, so he's probably right for this level. Just we're just not doing anything. I think we're being I think we're being too direct if anything. But sometimes that can work. See, he does that a lot. He does that an awful lot. He probably done that five or six times in the preseason friendlies we play, where he's gone through clean on goal and he's just hit it wide all the time. I think he scored two goals. Well, there's something to sort of give us a, a lift. But, you know, set piece, I think that's going to be key once again this season. Set pieces, corner kicks. Okay, we're going to go a bit more. We're going to go balanced. Thomas is injured. just not all right we're getting the blocks in there but we're not shutting down quick enough we're not closing down we're giving them too much like we're giving them too much respect and we're too scared of them that's how it feels Is that a penalty yeah i thought so hmm. so just to let you know when we lost on the penalties to was it south end in the carabao cup um, we missed the first three penalties and they scored the first three so you know we're not we're clearly not very good at penalties either we don't seem to be very good at a lot of things right now um, we are sort of struggling we just can't get get off the ground really we're just struggling to get anywhere so this is going to be a tough a tough few weeks I feel that penalty Mm. I don't know who so I've not been given the option to change the penalty taker so I don't know who's taking this so he's just come on ok we'll give you that one so maybe now rather than go balance I'm going to go defensive um, I don't think I can make anymore is it 4 subs I can make this season I think it might be you know <laughs> I've got um Nolan, can he play midfield? Yes, he can. Don't even know what he's doing up there. Why did I put him up there? So we're gonna we're gonna sort of no 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 we're gonna lay off. We're gonna play the free there. Um, we're gonna put these on a support duty. We don't want to go on attacking. We want to uh, support. We don't need support. We're gonna go. Um, central midfielder defend central midfielder we're changing the deep line playmaker defend uh, so we're going to sit back as much as possible with that and hold on for the hopefully the three points guys so five minutes of injury time play left to play so Lancaster's on the ball plays it inside to Sears goal stands 3-1 get in happy with that didn't see it coming, did not see that coming at all. Uh, quite shocked. Once again though, uh, 
come from an error from their goalkeeper, their distribution. Happens quite a lot on this game on Football Manager, the goalkeeper's distribution. No matter how good your goal is, he's normally quite poor, I've noticed. So, you know, he sort of mixes it up really because you get poor and you get, you know, balls over the top where it puts your, goal, your, your striker clean through on goal. So, you know, um, happy with that. Unexpected three points, if I'm being honest, the way the pre-season's gone. All right, we won a game 2-0, but we weren't very good it was more of a fact we played a a, pay, a poor side quickly go over ins and outs uh one in <laughs> um quite straightforward uh he hasn't he didn't start and i don't think he was was he even on the bench so we've loaned him from manchester united ethan galbraith i like this guy i've had him on a few saves um, he's good, 19 years of age, he's a three-star deep line playmaker, he can play anywhere in the midfield. Um, I just think he'll be a good player around the squad, Good, a good player to step in when required. But uh, my fault, I forgot to put him in, actually, I, yeah, I did forget to put him in that squad. I was going to say, I think it's because he played the full game fr three days prior to that, but... Uh, a few other players also did as well, and they managed to play. But yeah, he's 19 years of age. Uh, Ethan Galbraith, on loan from Manchester United. He's got some good mentals already. Um, passing, his technical's good. He's got a 14 passing. Um, shoots from distance, so he can he can play anywhere really across the along the spine in the midfield roles. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that though. It, it was an accident. I just completely forgot. Yeah, no, it won't happen again. No, I'll, I'll definitely change it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to change it in a minute. Yeah, it won't happen again. Yeah. What's that? You've read the paper today? Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, um, we are at the Carabao Cup now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um... But this has bothered you more than the Carabao Cup, did you say? Yeah. Right. Okay. I promise you, Mr. Chairman, it's going to be changed right away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You too. Bye. Oh, well, guys. The Chairman did see the, uh, the Carabao Cup result in the paper. Someone noticed him on holiday, apparently made him fully aware of it but more than that viewers he's been very upset with me for something else that I've done he said to me next time you do a game for me put yourself in the bottom right corner and don't leave a big pit a big version of you in the middle of the screen during a game so I'm going to amend that right now viewers there we go so it seems like he was more upset about that than he was going out of the Carabao Cup. So, you know, priorities and all that. Right, let's get over to the game. So game two, Bristol Rovers away. And uh, I'm tempted, well, I'm not tempted. I'm going to put Troy Parrott on the bench for the first time this season or for the first time on this save. <clears throat> he's made the bench a um, little bit concerned actually uh, let me just James Wilson can play right back or centre half ok so Luke Thomas midfield right he's not too bad I'm going to play Lancaster there though because uh, he's a bit of a threat uh, it's an inside forward playing on his left side that's good which is what we want um, Sears is my problem I might put Norwood up front in fact I'm not thinking about it I'm going to no 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 I'm going to stick with Freddy I'm going to stick with Freddy uh, I'm happy to go uh, let's just hope we can get some out of the game we've changed from attacking to a balanced strategy uh, I'm going to persevere with this tactic just a little while longer. Um, you know, was last was last game a bit of a fluke, or is it looking like the way of things to come? So, you know, just don't want to get defeated. Okay, 
Okay, Harrop free kick. Good save from the goalie. Corner. Corner ball. So playing in the away strip in the red red strip today, guys. Back post, surely. Yeah, okay. So the corners are working. Uh, we've scored one one goal in the league so far off the corners and about I think three goals off corners in the pre-season. Pre so um, it works. Um, it could work better though. I mean, we are much the better side here. So really we should be taking our chances and punishing Bristol for being poor. Um, I'm not going to say get your money's worth. I'm just going to say we've been unlucky so far. Uh, I'm going to give a shout of demand more in a few moments. Let's demand more. And I think this is a time where we can go more attacking. It's a free kick. So we've gone more attacking, guys. Hopefully we can put more pressure on them and force the mistakes, force the errors and score the goals, he says. I hope this is not one of them games where they have one decent attack, or maybe not. So Lancaster runs away with the ball, plays that left to Harrop. Harrop's driving at the defence, puts it onto his right foot. Comfortable save for the goalie. Comfortable save. So Galbraith plays the ball over the top to Harrop. Harrop wins the ball. Poor cross. Crosses again. Oh, Sears with a header. Smashes against the crossbar. So I think this could be a chance for... Parrot to come on for a few minutes. Wolfenden plays the Galbraith. Back to Wolfenden. Chance to cross. Crosses the ball. Not the greatest of crosses. Downs. Plays it to Wolfenden. Back to Galbraith. Galbraith. Great ball through. Freddie Sears. Is that a penalty? No, oh, he's offside. He's offside. So we're on 70 minutes gone. So is this going to be the kicker we didn't want? Could this be an attack? So we've got our inside forward playing left back here at the moment, which isn't good for, um, well, saying that. I say it's not good, but he's uh, he's carrying the ball. Great ball through to Bishop. Great. Freddie Sears shoots. He's hit the post. Freddie Sears, he's, he's had a few good chances. Uh, he's going to be making way for Parrot. Hopefully, uh, Parrot can show us what he's made of. I don't expect anything... Too early, even being honest. Wolfenden with the throw goes long. Great ball. Sears. Oh, it's 1 0. Harrop back post. Freddy. F ah, he's offside. He's offside. So I've been happy with how we're playing. We're certainly playing a lot more with a lot more conviction. Um, let's see what we can change. So, anybody out there not really struggling. So, I don't want to take Downs and Lancaster off because they're fired up. Uh, Harrop is nervous and. I want to know why. So can he play? Right, okay. Thomas is coming on for Harrop then. And how are we doing defensively? Wolfenden's fired up. Seven. 6.8 is Chambers. So we're going to get Chambers off and put McGuinness on. Uh, is McGuinness left sided only? He can play. Okay, that'll do. So we'll go with that. So we're showing the defence up as well as putting some forwards on. So Wolfenden gathers the ball, plays inside to Bishop. Galbraith over to Wolfenden. Wolfenden back to Galbraith. Crosses, back post. Harrop, oh, he's missed a fantastic chance. Oh, has he missed? It's hard. It, was, it was harder to score. Is that right? Thomas gathers the ball. Great running from Thomas. On his right foot, shoots wide. Not the greatest shot, but, you know, it's, it's getting better. And there's the kicker. There is the. I tell you, I was waiting for it. I've been 100% FM right there. Those players who play Football Manager all the time know exactly what I mean by that. That is so heartbreaking. They've done nothing all game. Let let's what well, let's see this. Four shots to my 19. 10 on target for me, 3 for them, an XG of 0 0.21 for Bristol Rovers, and an XG of 1.84 for me, 8 shots off target, 1 off target for them, 2 long shots, 7 for me, clear cut chances, 0 on each, but they win 1-0. How is this possible, viewers? 
this is what really annoys me with football manager but looks like we're just gonna have to bend over pick our shoes up and carry on with it um that is absolutely disgusting i'm, I'm absolutely disgusted with that i'm absolutely that that disgusting i'm tempted to write to fm team and tell them what they've done wrong because that should not happen in a game of football but we all know it does viewers so a little bit disappointed but i can see the funny side of it so i'm not going to be too disheartened um uh, as i say uh, i'm gonna i'm actually gonna give the guys a well done because they didn't deserve to lose that and i want them to make i want them to realize that you know i'm not gonna say i'm not happy because i am i thought we played all right i think we put see despite the result i'm pleased with i'm pleased with how we played absolutely uh, i just can't believe i can't believe that so that results pushed us back down to 11th only a few games into the season so there's there's a long long way to go so we need to pull our socks up and just get on with it basically put that result behind us that's really done me in for this episode uh, i shan't take it any further uh, we're going to end it there uh, i would like to say end it on a high but we're going to end it on a an extreme low this episode guys so um come and join us for episode what will be episode three of promotion in motion with me myself and i mr cuddly uh where hopefully viewers things have improved out of cup let's be realistic we're not going to get very far you don't get a great deal of money let's get out of it done so i just solely want to concentrate on the league i want i need for this to save to continue we have to be in the top six to continue it's as simple as that so viewers uh, unfortunately, it's going to be goodbye from me right now, Mr. Cuddly. And until we meet again, it's over and out from me. <sighs> One shot of goal on this score.